So you got Photoshop installed, you watched my first video to see how to set it up so it works properly. So what's the basics for Photoshop? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about opening your files or creating a new file. We're going to talk about working in layers and we're going to talk about how to save your photos. So first thing is how to open. Well, if you're going in to open a photo, you just go in, you find the photo that you're looking for, you click on it and you click on open and there it is. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. The picture that you just opened is now on the screen. So that's the first way to do it. Now, the second way is you can create a new well, photo or a new canvas to work on. And by doing that, you go in here and you can either select the sizes that Photoshop already has, or you can go in and make your own size. Now, if you're going to make your own size, there's a few things to be aware of. First of all, when you set up the size, make sure you're working in the units that you want. I've got so many people that will come in, they'll set it up into something that they didn't expect and they'll work on it. They bring it in and find out, oh, it doesn't fit for what I want. So make sure you've got your width of what you want and the correct unit. Make sure you got the height of what you want and the correct unit. Then for resolution, this is another big area that people mess up in big time. If you're doing something for the internet, 72 pixels per inch, 92, 95, 100 pixels per inch is fine. If you're doing something for print, you want it to be 300 pixels per inch. 300 is the sweet spot. Now, beware, because if you're going in here and you are setting this 300 and you're setting it to pixels per centimeter, you're going to notice that the size of your file is a lot bigger. So again, it's very relevant. 300 pixels per centimeter, you're going to get 132.9 megabyte file pixels per inch. You're going to get a 20.6 megabyte file. So watch again that you're setting this to what you're correctly using because it's going to be different. Again, setting this up right the first time works so much better color mode. I always use RGB when I'm working with photos. I also prefer 16-bit color, which will mean your file size is a little bit more. I've always used a white background. You can set this to be a background color or you can set it to be transparent. I've always used white. I don't know why. It's just that's how I set it up. I always use Adobe RGB 1998. That's my color space. And the picture, pixel aspect ratio, I never change. And then you click OK, and it opens up your file. Now, there is your 8x10 picture. Anything that's outside of it is not 8x10. Everything that is inside of this is 8x10. So whatever you see in here, if you're going to print an 8x10, it will be printed here. So beware of that. I get people so often that think, oh, I've set up an 8x12, so I want it printed 8x10, so I'll just, no, set this so that it's the right size for what you want. Now, that's the first thing. Let's get into saving. File. Go into Save As. And I strongly recommend when you're saving anything to do it in PSD format, which is the Photoshop format. It is so much better than all the other formats. Go in and select a name for it. Select a name that you're going to understand yourself. Because I, again, have so many people that will do this and they'll have Untitled 1, Untitled 2, Untitled 3. That means nothing. So you can set it up with a name that you want. So we'll call this one Test Image. And we're saving it in Photoshop format. And we're going to click on Save. It has now gone through and it has now saved it. So that's how you go through and you create a new file, you open a file, you save a file, and th that's your basics. If you want to get rid of it, if you're done with this, you go in and you click X and away it goes. So now, what, what about when we want to start working with the file? So we're going to go in here, we're going to click open. There's our test image that we had. We're going to select an image here. We'll just pick this one here and we're going to select open. Here's our image here. Obviously, that's a little bit large. We're just going to slide that down a bit. We'll explain that later. Now, if you're doing any work in here, let's say you want to get rid of this bright spot up here. You can go in and you can quickly go in here 
and you can get rid of that bright spot just like that. Now, if you notice, the bright spot's gone. And if you notice over here on the right-hand side, you see something that says background. Now, the problem here is, is that when we've done this work up here, that is fixed, but we can't go back in and change that in the future. We can do it now. We can move back and forth, and we'll explain how to do that in another video. But you can't go in and change this. So if you notice in six months' time that you've messed this up, you can't go back in and fix that. So I strongly recommend when we do any work in Photoshop that we go in here, we go down here to where it says create a new layer. We click on that and we create a layer. So what's a layer? A layer is basically a piece of clear plastic put over top of your image that you can work on. And you can go through here and you can do whatever you want We'll go in here, we'll go like this. And if I turn off the layer and then turn it back on again, you can see that what I've done is I've actually put the piece of plastic over top of the image. I've removed the piece of plastic. And this comes from the days of when people did animation and they would use clear acetate over top of an image. They would do work on it and you could lay one down, lay the next one down, lay the next one down. And it's the same like that for layers. You can add all the layers you like. You can do all the different things that you want to the layers. You can mess around you can do anything and then you can go and shut off the different layers so that you can go back to the farthest back that you have which in this case is the base image and there's no changes to that base image you can remove layers by just scrapping them you can add more layers so on and so forth layers is the best way to work now we talked about just a few seconds ago about going in and saving your file. Well, here's the cool thing about layers. I've got my layer. I've got it fixed. So let's say I was finished. I'm going to go save as. I'm going to call this one edit. And I've saved this file. I've deleted it off of the screen. I may have shut down Photoshop. I may have done a whole bunch of different stuff. And then I go back days, weeks, months later. And I open up this image and I want to play with it some more and I realize that oh I like that up there oh look I can bring it back just by turning off the layer I can also decrease the opacity so I can bring it back a little bit I can bring it back a lot this is the benefits of working in layers and this is the benefits of saving it in Photoshop format so that's the first little thing about how to work with files and in the next video we'll talk about some more stuff that you can do have a great day and get out there take some amazing pictures and edit them so they look perfect